Ladies and gentlemen, what is up and welcome to today's video where we're going to be having a bit of a look at the homecoming version of Vulture that has been added to Marvel Contest of Champions. Uh, kind of going through his abilities, his animations, going to show off some gameplay on this dude. Uh, and I think he's a pretty cool character. I've uh, been over his abilities a few times and he does some rather interesting stuff. He's got some mechanics that we haven't exactly seen before, but I think are going to be very useful when it comes to certain challenges and the way that he works. Works. Uh, so the first thing, we'll talk about his signature ability in a little bit, because I think to fully understand that, you need to understand how the character works and kind of what resources he has. Uh, so he has a charge called uh, Chitari Energy, and this goes up to 100. Now, if you have him awakened, he starts with 100 energy, but if you don't have him awakened, uh, then he starts with zero energy by the look of it. And the way there are two ways that you gain Chitari energy, and the first one is landing a critical hit, and that gives you uh, five Chitari energy, and the second one is symphoning power uh, via your special one attack. So those are the two ways that you build up Chitari energy. Now you spend 50 Chitari energy by dashing away from the opponent, and then immediately back toward them. And if you land a successful hit, you trigger a Raptor Strike, which will drain at 25% of their current power. However, if your Raptor Strike is blocked, uh, you gain a decoy buff, which causes the neck atta next attack against the Vulture that would otherwise hit him to miss. So that gives you a little bit of a safety barrier there, but basically uh, doing kind of a, a, what they call a Raptor Strike is commonly known in the community uh, as a backdraft intercept to kind of successfully uh, successfully land that. And if you want some tips on, you know, how to land those, uh, Dork Lessons Intercepting video like covers it in a really, really good amount of detail. But that's uh, something that's very, very easy to do against like quite aggressive opponents so uh a bit of a bit of an interesting mechanic in terms of the power drain like i uh i think that's uh something that we haven't really you know seen encouraged in many characters so i very much like that uh, when it comes to his design and also one of the things he has is um it looks like kind of an extended evade much like nightcrawler uh, so it looks like kind of an enhanced version of Dexterity, but it's very hard to tell until we can actually play with this character. So Vulture evades all attacks while dodging back. Now Nightcrawler and Dexterity, they read exactly the same uh, as this one does. But when it comes to Nightcrawler, like he can evade special attacks like Winter Soldier's Special 2, some of the Collector's Special Attacks that aren't otherwise evadable just by normal characters using Dexterity. So I'm interested to test Vulture and see, you know, if he has this kind of extended mechanic. Pretty interesting one, but as well as that, uh, when you dodge an attack successfully with your evade, it will consume 10 Chitauri energy and incinerate the opponent, uh, but it only has a max of one stack. And it's a little bit hard to get a good idea of the damage, because, you know, this is uh, not a playable Vulture with kind of attack bonuses or anything. But, you know, it doesn't seem too bad on this one. You know, he's got about 1,000 attack, and it's 420 damage over 5 seconds. So, yeah, I don't know if this is exactly like, you know... Uh, 42% of his attack over 5 seconds, or whether it's going to have a slightly different scaling. But hey, it doesn't seem too bad, like free damage while you're dashing back. Like, I'll certainly take that. Ain't too bad at all. And then when we, uh, what we have up next is the passive. So, um... Vulture has a permanent armor up buff, increasing his armor basically for each point of Chitari energy. Uh, that doesn't seem to like it's going to make a huge difference to the character, but you know, I guess it's uh, it's nice to have. And then if the buff is removed for any reason, it will refresh itself after 10 seconds. So you know, if you find this character with Doctor Voodoo, you can just get some like free poison every 10 seconds. Like it's not too bad. And then the first thing we have on the special attacks. Uh, so the special attack one has a hundred percent chance to apply a symphon charge debuff Which drains 25% of any power the opponent gains converting it into Chitauri energy and this effect lasts for 15 seconds Now one of the things that I think is really interesting is kind of when playing through this initially um, I was just kind of letting vulture like hit me with a Gwen pull and I think we can showcase this a little bit in this video, but uh, if you get to the special free, you know, if you get toward the special free, your opponent is never going to be able to trigger it while you have this debuff, because any of the power they gain is instantly draining like that little bit, it's draining that 25%. So yeah, that might be a crazy, crazy piece of utility if that kind of a applies to like uh, power gain stuff as well, like when it comes to like Hyperion's, uh, what is it, Cosmic Charge and stuff like the, uh, the Power Flood mechanic. 
mechanic that we see in like Road to the Labyrinth. So yeah, it might be a, a bit of a interesting one there. Like I think there's a lot of potential for that piece of utility because there's nothing like exactly like, you know, something that drains like a certain percentage of the power you're gaining. Uh, so yeah, bit, bit of an interesting one. There are mechanics that like reduce it, but nothing that like takes the flat like 25% off. So and that lasts for 15 seconds on the special one. So, you know, you can quite easily have 100% uptime on that. Now, the special attack 2 has, instead of like, it has pretty much the exact same buff, but there are two differences. It's 5 seconds uh, shorter, so it's only 10 seconds. And instead of converting that power into Chitauri energy, it burns the power and deals direct damage based on the power burned. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that kind of seems, a, you know, a little bit more for damage, but obviously it's on the special 2. It's only 10 seconds. You're not going to be able to have 100% uptime so I think if you're going mainly for like power control it seems like special attack one is the one to go for but maybe if you want a little bit more damage and power isn't a concern then maybe special two might be the right way to go and then the final one we have is the special attack three which incinerates the enemy dealing this is currently 130 1346 energy damage which on this vulture you know is 135 percent of his attack over 20 seconds and this effect also removes perfect block chance and reduces block proficiency by 50% while it's active so yeah I I don't know if that's gonna be like enough damage to warrant using like over the special two but yeah I mean the secondary effect like the reduction in perfect block chance and block proficiency I don't know I haven't find like found or seen like any circumstance where that is a super super useful thing to have but I don't know if that ever does become relevant at any point in the game uh, might not be too bad and then when we go to his awakened ability let's talk about basically he gains three things when he's awakened he starts the fight of full Shatari energy he I believe is immune to any incinerate debuff or, or in Instantly converts it into more Chitauri energy and uh, yeah additionally while the opponent is incinerated which I imagine is gonna happen quite a bit in the fight you know if you're evading attacks uh, you gain 1% of your power per second so yeah that might not be too bad at all so yeah I mean you can uh, that's got really good synergy as well with the special free I guess because it can help charge your power up um pretty quickly because you're gonna guarantee that your opponent is incinerated for the 20 seconds so yeah, I'm not not too sure about that. Not too sure. I mean, Vulture seems like a very, very interesting character. I like the way that his power control works. But, it, you know, it's it's very much of a case of like, is it going to be practical? Is it going to be, you know, is it going to be useful in certain fights? Is it going to be a better alternative to using uh, champions like Magic and Dormammu? Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to see. Anyway, let's uh, let's load up this first fight and see a Gwenpool versus Vulture matchup. So in this one, I'm not going to hit him at all. I'm just going to kind of show off some of his animations. Very, very cool striking animations there. I like how his kind of like fans come in for the final medium if he gets that off that's pretty damn cool and this is the symphon charge so you see kind of attacking into me like it's just after the hit that he gains power and right now I just realized my web webcam's in the way but whenever he's hitting me now it uh yeah was just symphoning a little bit preventing me from getting to the special free but it does go to the special free which i think is an interesting thing to bear in mind because like against fighting like a magic you know it's, it's not a way to keep like a magically magic like permanently locked in the corner because she's always going to get to that special free and then dip a little bit so her limbo is going to be you know procking and triggering there so he isn't the the gracious magic counter and savior of magic mankind that we've we've all hoped for but i don't know he might be might be interesting in some other ways so next up let's let's get him for some proper fights now i think we'll go for um who's who's gonna be a good match i mean like any one of these characters will work we got some two stars just to prolong the fight a little bit and let's hope i can play fairly well here so i think iron fist yeah he's a fairly good matchup we can you know pierce the armor and stuff but I did miss a parry there, which is, is pretty damn bad. That's pretty damn bad. But as you can see, when the armor goes off, there's also a timer um, before the armor refreshes again. So that's something interesting to bear in mind. And let's talk about how to fight Vulture ideally. So let's see if we can uh, get into the rhythm of this fight a little bit. Right, there we go. So we're just going to try and bait out special one. So you just got to avoid the glider just by outranging it. There's no need to like time anything perfectly here. Uh, both of his special attacks can be evaded and countered just by going out of range of him. 
and you also do have like adequate time to actually attack into the character after them. Let's actually push into a special two, uh, just to hopefully show that one off. So you just wait for the jets to uh, kind of do their little force and let some steam off, and you can go back in. And let's get to another special two here. So let's let those jets go poof. <laughs> and yeah, it's just, uh, I don't know, I think this is going to be a fairly manageable boss to deal with in master mode. Unless there's like something like crazy in terms of the master mode node that we have not yet quite yet seen yet. But we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have a look. Right, let's see if we can finish him off. Boosh! Not too bad, a pretty smooth kill there. Very much, uh, very, very big different contrast to the uh, the first one where we uh, we messed up quite quickly there. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Vulture, very, very cool character. I like the design of him. I like that he's different and a little bit quirky. And also, he does look very, very cool and badass. Like, I'm very much looking forward to getting my hands on a Vulture, having a little bit of a play when he's released. And I assume it's going to be two weeks. Uh, we've got Spider-Man Home coming out today. So hopefully, I can hit up my boy Graphic Sync and get some of that early Spider-Man gameplay footage. And yeah, that should be pretty damn cool. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Take care and have an absolutely fantastic day. Fantastic day.